All right, this question gives us a graph, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. If we understand the story, it's pretty easy to come up with our answer. The graph represents the total charge in dollars by an electrician for X hours of work. So maybe if you want, you can label that hours and charge as money. The, election, the electrician charges a one-time fee plus an hourly rate. Okay, that's pretty standard for these kinds of questions. Uh, what is the best interpretation of the slope of the graph? Well, this is where we do need to do a little bit of memorization. Basically, a slope is a rate. Okay, we call it rise over run or change in y over change in x when we're just talking about a normal line without any story involved. But that's what a rate is, right? It's two comparisons of values. It's representing a change. And so what we need to do when we have a story is if they ask for slope or they talk about rates, we know that those two ideas are intimately connected. So the slope is the rate. So now I'm just going to go to these answer choices. What, what talks about the rate? Well, B talks about the fee and C talks about a maximum. Lines don't have maximums. The total amount that the electrician charges, again, there's no that, that would be the y coordinate, so that doesn't make any sense. So A is the answer here. Uh, just to dive a little deeper, the other part of a y equals mx plus b line, so we have the slope, we also have the b, which is the y intercept, and that in a story is going to start, sound like a starting point because most stories do not have negative numbers for the x, so we're going to have a start at zero and in this case that would be represented by the fee right because no matter how many hours you hire this electrician for you're going to have to pay that fee so that's kind of like a starting value and that's also a very common idea that you should memorize one-time fee is a y-intercept now obviously harder questions could change this and kind of mess with this but we're at number five of 22 questions here this is gonna be pretty easy it's reliably easy, so just use this kind of piece of knowledge about slopes and intercepts and understand how lines work, and you should be fine.